Welcome to the McTaggart Attack Podcast. I'm Kevin McTaggart, the angriest comic in Vermont. And in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about student loan debt. Yes, student loan debt. A big issue that most people, I think, seem to have in the world today. Um, I, I, I have student loan debt. That's why I want to talk about student loan debt. I saw that so uh, student loan debt was trending on Twitter earlier today. By the way, follow me on Twitter, at McTaggart Attack. And... Yeah, I just, I wanted to talk about student loan debt. Um, I, I hate having student loan debt, or I hated having student loan debt because um, I did pay off my student loans finally earlier this year. So that was fun. Uh what was not fun was when I paid off my student loans. And then shortly after that, there was a big thing during the virus pandemic to be like, hey, let's just give student loan debt relief to people. Let's just relieve people of their student loans. Where the hell was this while I was paying mine months ago? Where the hell was that? Seriously, you're going to pay off student loan debt after I've paid off my student loan debt? You're going to forgive student loan debt after I've paid off my student loan debt? Seriously, that's when you're going to do it? Of course that's when you're going to do it. After I've already paid off my student loans, like months after I've paid off student loans, you want to go ahead and relieve student loan debt now. Or there's talk of doing it. There's more talk of doing it than there ever was. Probably partially thanks to the pandemic and it's just annoying. You're going to pay it off now. Seriously. I saw something today. Um, I, I heard something today and, and it just reminded me that there probably are people out there who are not in favor of of relieving student loan debt. And because they bring up the point of how, you know, um, you went to college, so you have these student loans you have to pay. Well, you know, not necessarily that this applies to me or anything, but, like, as a kid in high school, a teenager, and you go ahead and you, you know, think, oh, okay, you're in school, you're doing okay in school so you might as well go ahead and you know apply for colleges and then the college accepts you so of course you can't pay it so you know you, you most people probably you know apply for student loans and stuff but like I know that most kids probably apply for student loans but parents probably apply for the student loans for them so it's like it's you can't really like blame the kids who went to college and then after college you realize oh I have this student loan debt that I have to pay and then like I never really agreed to do it anyway but as a kid you really don't have much of a choice because like you're going to go to college and then you'll have the student loan debt to pay afterwards and you never really think about it at least I didn't think about it while I was in college you don't You'll worry about it after. It's always worry about it after. I'm always like worry about it after, you know. And it's just so. I, I, it's not really my fault, I guess, that I had the student loan debt. I mean, uh, if I had to look back on it now, would I go to college? I probably would have went to college for something else. I don't think I would have done the criminology degree that I got from Florida State. I think in retrospect, I really should have gotten like a business degree or something like that. Because if I had all the student loan debt to pay off, I should have like looked into making money as quick as possible. But I didn't think about that. 
at the time. You never think about that at the time. So if you're a kid in college right now and you're going to be having student loans to pay off, you better get a business degree. You better think of the phrase entrepreneur. You better think of how am I going to make a shitload of money once I get out of college so I can pay off the student loan debt as soon as fucking possible. Seriously, that's what you need to be thinking. How, what, yeah, that's, in retrospect, if I do it all over again, I would have gotten a different degree. That's what I would have done. So, and as I alluded to, am I in favor of relieving student loan debt? No. No, I'm not in favor of relieving student loan debt. I don't think... I don't think that's a good idea. I think that that sends a a bad message to people. I just think kids need to be made more aware of their student loan debt. You know, they have to think, okay, but I know that they probably, the colleges or the, um, the banks who are in charge of the student loans or whatever it is, they probably do let the kids know as much as they can but I'm gonna let you know most college kids probably don't give a shit about student loans right now while they're in college or even after they graduate college so they think they can just get any type of job or whatever because most kids probably most of their degrees they're not even getting a job in that degree you're probably not even getting a job that matches the degree that they got, which is a fucking waste of time. Kind of like me. I I, I wanted to do criminology, but then once I got into it, I'm like, there was more school stuff to do for what I I wanted to do. I wanted to, like, um, examine serial killers is what I wanted to do, I think. The big thing that I wanted to do. Or something along the lines of Clarice, Clarice Starling's character in the FBI. But I didn't want to shoot people. I didn't want to have a gun. I didn't want to. I didn't want to hold a gun. I didn't want to shoot people. With a, or I didn't say. I mean, I don't want to shoot people. I never want to shoot people. Nobody should ever want to shoot people unless their lives are in danger. Now that I've said that, I just. I did. No, I don't want to shoot people. No, but but what I mean was, I don't want a job where I have to have a gun. Is what I should have said. And police officer is a job where you have to have a gun. And I didn't want to have a gun. So my choices were limited with my criminology degree. And like I said, in retrospect, I probably should have gotten like a business degree or marketing degree or something. And just done that instead. I don't know. I, I, I fucked up in college. I didn't, that wasn't really partying hard or anything, but I was like, I almost didn't want to be there. I don't know. I always kind of wanted to be a stand-up comedian. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. But then I told people that I was going to do that. And they talked me out of it. And I talked myself out of it for like 18 years, 16 years. Until I finally started doing stand-up comedy when I was 38. And I've been doing it for six years now. And I love it. But I, I don't think that I don't think about if I had started back in my 20s. And I'd be a stand-up comedian for 22 years now and I'd be a whole lot of help better and happier than I am right now I think about that all the fucking time and the fact that we have a virus pandemic now just just sucks too just makes me think about all those regretful decisions that I made or decisions I didn't make But this this episode is about student loan debt and not about my problems. So although the McTaggart Attack podcast is always about my problems and always about me venting about shit. On a side note, and I'll talk about this in my next ever, uh, my next Trivial Nonsense Friday. This is, I'm, I'm doing something I for the first time ever today and I hope it works and I think it's going to work because I've tested it enough times to where it's this this will be you'll be able to watch me talk on YouTube and you'll be able to um listen 
to it wherever the hell you listen to podcasts. But back to student loan debt. No, I'm not in favor of it. I think we need to, I think we just need to do a better job of getting kids ready for adulthood. You know, getting them into the career that they want to do. I think we need to like change college sort of, I don't know. I mean, we just need to make kids aware that like if you have a student loan, you're going to have to owe a lot of money, but stress them, stress them that they need a lot of money, that they're going to need to pay off these student loans. They'll say, they'll say, so they, I can fucking talk today, so they can be prepared once they graduate from college, if they graduate from college. I'm hoping that they do graduate from college if they go to college, but just... <laughs> make them aware of how much money that they're going to have to owe. You know, maybe like motivate them more. I'm not one of these leaders who make these big decisions. I just complain about the things. But I think I have good ideas. But I just, if I had to do it over again, I would have did. I would have still went to college, but I would have gotten a different degree in something else. Maybe I should go back to college. I don't want to go back to college. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do I don't want to do school in that capacity ever again. I still want to learn. You should always try to learn, but I don't want to go back to school or get another degree in something else. Cuz that's just another waste of fucking time. Just jump into it. Or wait for the virus pandemic to be over so I can do stand up comedy again more seriously this time. Or make money for my podcast or something. Communications would have been a good major to do if if I had to do it over again. We can add that to the uh, list. Business, marketing, communications, that type of stuff. But yeah, yeah, student loans. Just just be aware, kids, that student loans are a thing. And I think debt relief, student loan debt relief, is 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 stupid. I I don't think they should relieve them right away I don't know what the relief will entail but I don't think they should do it right away you know I, or I don't think they should do it at all just we just need to do better at educating children we need to put more money into education is what we need to do and I think if we put more money into education we would help people eradicate student loan debt quicker instead of just relieving it for them because you can't just relief relieve people's problems that's stupid yes yes you didn't necessarily you went to college you made the choice to go to college so you made the choice ultimately to have student loan debt so it's on you so solve your own problems instead of trying to hope that the government comes and saves the day Get a job that pays off the student loans as quick as fucking possible once you graduate college. And that's the bottom line. If you smell what the McTaggart Attack podcast is cooking.